mentality you might expect well, from a guy who won two Olympic gold medals, one at 125 pounds and then another at 132 pounds. To a veteran, rugged fighter in Salido who came... For Sean Latarn, Arpiri Opinion. And Lomachenko is a guy who, if he feels his opponent, if he sees that... The generally dominated the fight. Yeah, and I don't care how protected Russell has been. Low He's blow a by really Lomachenko. good... So Lomachenko makes Operio Pino pay for... He feels like he needs to probe with the foot, but he's always in position. And we're now joined at rings... Sean Latarn, Operio Pino. Sean Latarn, 100 amateur fights. There's no such thing as early in your career. Try this, 400 amateurs, anyone who's ever well, lived. There's enough Olympic and World Championship hardware two gold medals and a bronze medal and two world championship golds and a lot of medal that's a whole lot of medals roy very few fighters can throw that right hook the way yeah. and why he's already moving timing and rhythm are unbelievable i mean if body and then sometimes circling back to the right forcing alperio pino to try to time that left hook to the body it's not easy to do Harry Russell two or three times with body shots. Here he goes again, digging to the body. That was a big left hand by Lomachenko to the gut. Because he knows, because we're already reacting to what we know he has to do. Like a, like an anticipation of the future. Pretty much what it is. When can I land my money shot? This is what I've got to do to have any chance in the fight. His jab isn't much. He's got one punch. Beaten and outclassed by Chris John, but then came back to have some moments in that fight. Time, time. Dexterous. He snaps that right jab. He hits you hard with the left hand. I mean, it's incredible. Lands and mills the guy where he wants to put him, controls the action. That's also from repetitions in the gym. If you That's it. It's, it's the do years it and years and years. For years and years. Back, back ever touching the ropes. But we've seen, you know, he was Jeff Fennick a little bit in this Good fight, left. and then all of a sudden he's Willie Pep in this fight. He's a combination throwing pressure. Down, continuously punch on him until one of them hits him. And here, Pinko's credit, he's smart enough to keep the pressure on after Lomachenko onslaughts him like this. Fantastic. Oh, Daniel has been on the canvas. And that's the first time in 53 fights that he's seen by seeing Lomachenko. That's it. Hey, very close. Voted the best boxer at the 2008 Seoul Olympics. And we probably couldn't find Shala just genetically, like he's he's laced with fast twitch muscles. You can see of Alperio Pino's right hand. I'm guessing that's the result of head contact. We can't with, his, with his weak hand moving in the opposite direction. <laughs> he hasn't had a guy like this guy in front of him. Right, Gary he's Russell was much faster. Yeah, but um, Rigandau's right there. I think Rigandau's a little small die, too. Die. Wanted a faster pace early. Much more offensive-minded early. We'll see what happens. Uh, the Terrence Crawford fight in Omaha, Nebraska. Hard left hand by Lomachenko up. He's taking some real punches tonight, and he keeps coming right. They have to be almost equivalent to getting kicked. Back. That's why I went with the cow. <laughs> Alperio Pino got in. Extra point to round four for the knockdown. So that becomes a 10-8 round. That gives him an out in Muay Thai, which is, you know, a sport where you can kick your opponent. Then if you... Though, who reminds me in certain respects more of a Muay Thai or... And uh, he can do both things. So you see a little bit of him boxing. You see a little bit of him really sitting down. That Vasily Lomachenko has not thrown a left-hand punch in this entire round. Norm Lomachenko's hand. This Here's sounds very counterintuitive to most people. Some skulls are harder than others. Yes. And then he pops Alperio Pino twice with the right hand as if to say, see, I can beat you. Come in handy because now he'll know how to survive with one hand, which Alperio Pino doesn't have enough rounds left to make up the game. And if he has a hard enough head that Lomachenko broke for Arturo Gatti, he shook the right hand. Left it, biographical material on Lomachenko. We know of no other serious injury. So this, way back in 1986, in a heavyweight fight in the bad eyes saw Terrell. And that's the case for Lomachenko. If his right hand were broken, he'd probably, well, we've described him as Superman. So it seems like he could pull on the, see how his father feels about that. Do we know that it's the hand and not the wrist? We don't know. Routinely, frequently. Not throwing it where they maintain that kind of electric energy in every round. Um, they don't let their opponent with a broken left hand. Harold Letterman, how do you have it so far? Look, it's about a nine to nothing, ninety to eighty. Thank you very much, Harold.
Two minutes to go in round 10. Sean Latar and Piri Pino trying to get something done with his body punching. Chenko gives him some run in that department, I think. Well, but you've mentioned Rigondeaux. He was not good at throwing long distance punches. This fight, he threw some long distance punches. So he is improving as between a, a good, steady, long reigning titleist and a guy who believes you. Up at uppercut, you may have problems. Yeah. Because right there, he would have landed that overhand left again. And right there as well. Shares with authority, but he throws it into the midsection. Thinks he can get away with it. Championship acquitted himself pretty well in that fight against Chris John, all things considered. Go figure. <laughs> and, and as we mentioned, where Nicholas Walters just looked so impressive against Donaire, you mentioned the, the potential opponents for Lomachenko and the fights that came. Threw it three or four times to the head of Sean Latana for your opinion. <laughs> hey, if Dan said he could throw it. Go ahead. Another amazing display <laughs> of comedy. Shaking the left hand, shaking the left hand, firing, firing with the right. He's outlanded of that. <laughs> now, frankly, Okiri Pino doesn't get any leverage on Vasily Lomachenko!